Joel Salatin, my mentor, said, never punish your kids with chores. He said the whole world's indoctrinating their kids to think work is a punishment. Work is beautiful as long as it's meaningful work. T.O. Brands, I can't prove this, but I could easily argue and believe I'm accurate to say we've taken most pe more people from rags to riches than any company in modern history. Our education company showing people. I remember not long ago, did you guys see the podcast I did with the guy who used to wash my cars? He used to wash my Ferraris and Lambos back in my here in my garage, Hollywood Hills house. And now he's making 100 grand to 200 grand a month. He was a poor kid from Mexico who came to America with no money. American dream. The interesting part of this story is I didn't even know it. He saw me about six months ago at a conference. He said, Ty, you gave me a piece of advice when I used to watch your cars and I actually did what you said. And now he's got some kickboxing studios that are making money. He's got a, like a gym franchise and he's making 100 to 200,000 a month from a kid who, you know, growing up in his family probably made 1,000 a month. No college degree. The world gave up on him, but I didn't give up on him. The world's given up on most people, just so you know. And that's the story of Ty Lopez Rent. We've, we've endured lots of criticism. Now I see people posting on my Here in My Garage video every day. You know what? We criticized this man in 2015, but turns out he was right. Here in my garage, what I like more is knowledge. So I can't even think of a better company you could work at, honestly. If I knew something better to do, I would do it. I have the freedom to switch occupations. TL Brands, you know, is serving the highest purpose of mankind. Greatest investment in history, whoever invested in Einstein. There was a mentor when Einstein was 16, a mathematician who let Einstein come to dinner every Thursday, helped him with math. That investment in somebody, you know, Einstein didn't grow up with a rich family. He worked in the post office full-time job when he came up with equals MC squared. So we invest in people who then go out and change the world. We're the godfathers of people who change the world. That's a great place to be working. So I just want you all to keep that in mind that a lot of jobs, you should hate work because work is meaningless. But as the Amish say, thou shalt work by the sweat of thy brow. And as I said about that Amish guy who I met who was 70, Hadn't taken a day off since his honeymoon, okay? He didn't even know what a vacation was. It's like, yeah, I took a couple. He milked cows seven days a week for 50 years. Literally happier than everybody I meet in the modern world who has too much free time on their hand. Free time creates anxiety. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't have rest. You need recuperation. You need rest. But endless free time, like the modern world has, just leads to people scrolling on Instagram for three hours. How is that better? Been meaningful work. I don't even know what people are talking about. Teach your kids, teach your grandchildren to love work. Joel Salatin, my mentor, said, never punish your kids with chores. He said, the whole world's indoctrinating their kids to think work is a punishment. Be honest. Who here's parents or you as a parent have ever uh, punished your kids with chores? Don't be a fart and do that. But you know what? Sam Chupp, an Amish guy I lived with for two and a half years, he had a son, David Chupp, young kid. And David didn't forgot to feed the cow or something. And Sam said, you know what? I'm going to have to punish you, David. You're not going to be able to come on the work crew with your older brothers and me today. You got to stay at home and do nothing. And David started weeping as a six-year-old. I want to come work. Nope, sorry. That's a privilege. Imagine that society where people were punished by not being able to do meaningful work as part of the tribe. Don't even get me started on modern parenting retardation. But there's an example. Never punish yourself or other people. Arnold Schwarzenegger, one of the greatest fitness influencers, well, the greatest fitness influencer by far. He, he made gyms popular. There was no gyms before. There was small ones, but Arnold made it a national pastime. He used to punish himself. He'd give himself an hour and a half to work out. He'd put his favorite workout, biceps, men like that, big arms, at the end of the workout. And he, if he wasn't efficient with all his other workout, he'd force himself to stop. And be like, you don't get to do biceps today. It's your last workout. And he's like, he's all mad. Punishing himself by not working out. What is everybody else in modern world? Think of the differences in your life outcome if you change what you consider a punishment and reward. Just let it sink in for a second. What if from age 12 on, each person here had, been, had punished themselves? Your parents had punished you by not letting you go to jujitsu, by not letting you work on your entrepreneurial company. Instead, modern society is like, well, if you're good, you get to play video games. You should be punishing your kids. Find the worst video game in the history of mankind, the most boring one, and tell your kids, well, you didn't listen to me today. 
you got to play three hours of this horrific video game. Find one that like screeches. I'm going to create a video game called the anti-video game. Never reward your kids with TV. Reward them because imagine the difference in life outcomes between people who listen to what I'm saying now, who are reward themselves and their kids with meaningful things like a bicep workout <laughs> or a jog or building a business. Imagine the difference in life outcomes. No wonder America's obese, unhappy, and disheveled. <laughs> no wonder the punishment incentive structures built by literal morons, you know? So at this company, if you work for me, we re I changed the structure. Leaders work the hardest and staff works the least or interns work the least. You know, some companies make interns work the hardest. And, no, leaders work the hardest. And they get the highest reward too. But the punishment is, uh, you can be an intern and just work 50% effort all day. The real people are going to work. Now, you do need to recuperate. So I'm a big fan of work hard, play hard. So when it's time to play, turn the phone off. That's why we use Slack for most of our communications. You don't have to check it when you're not working. If you ain't waking up at least once or twice a week with an idea about your business and your responsibilities in your sleep, you're not in it. You are not in it. Please be in it, or I'm, my punishment is I'm going to reduce your workload. It also reduce your upside, but I'm going to reduce your workload. You want to be like regular Americans? I got it. <laughs> you get an average American makes fifty-eight thousand dollars a year. I got you. I got you. You want to work half-ass? I got you with that American payroll, and I'm going to adjust it to the country you live. If you live in Pakistan, you want to not work hard. You want to be half-ass? I got you. What's the medium income of Pakistan? That's what I'm going to make sure you get wired every month. I got you. I'll meet you right where you want to go. That's called tit for tat. That's tit for tat. That's a system of game theory. Don't try to fight people. Just meet them where they are. If you're dating somebody that never texts you first, you never text them first. They don't like you. So don't like them back. Never like people who don't like you. You don't like working at Teal Brands? I'll figure it out. I won't like you either. Tit for tat, baby. In game theory, a man won a Nobel Prize. There's a movie about it played by Russell Crowe it's called Nash Equilibrium. One of the outcomes, not necessarily Nash Equilibrium, but one of the parts of game theory is tit for tat theory. When they run game simulations, hyper advanced computer simulations, tit for tat is the best way to treat people. You start out nice and then you reciprocate. So everybody comes here. I give you opportunity to work, unlimited advancement. I don't care if you're a male, female, young, old. I, I, I've got a proven track record of really not caring. I don't even care if you have no resume. If you're skilled, if you have the three, Warren Buffett three, wildly insane outlier energy. Like the average person is this much messaging in Slack. It's not just messaging, that's a side effect, but accomplishing things. If the average person accomplishes three things and you accomplish a, an insane outlier is four times. You accomplish 12 things. Well, and, everybody, and the average is three. Now you're an insane outlier in energy. Are you an insane outlier in skill and talent? Good way to know if you're skilled in talent is, do you get it right the first time? So if you have to go back and redo your projects, that means you're not that skilled. So if the average person has to redo their projects, you know, one out of two, if you only have to do it 0.5, half of one, you know, you're four times better. And then lastly, integrity. Now, integrity doesn't mean, obviously, I want to know you're not going to steal money, but integrity is different. Integrity means the systems we have, you're loyal to the systems. So 67 steps, 484 frameworks, you're repeating those frameworks back. You're not just out here working on your own. Like the uh, Bible says, lean not on your own understanding. That's a great one. It's not even religious in this sense. Lean not on your own understanding. Lean on the frameworks that I put together for the company values. We have over 40 company values. People have low integrity to the values who are just doing the opposite. So one of the company values, mimic the best. So I see some of you being like, oh, I'm following this person. They have a funnel. Are they the best? You're fo I, don't wanna, I don't care about people's funnels who are making a million dollars a year. We're looking at funnels of my buddy Grant Cardone, who's doing 650 million a year. Just go straight to the top. That's one of the 67 sets. So some of you, you could be good at energy, good at skill, but you have low integrity to the systems. I got to boot you out either. Or I have to put you in an area where you're not that important in the company. You can do something low importance and you can make, I got you with that median income pay. Anybody wants that medium income pay? I'm ready. 
I, every company needs some people who just do kind of medium income jobs. But don't be coming to me whining. Oh, I should get paid more. There's no should in this world. Newsflash, I, should is not a real word. Should's kind of this invented word. There's no I should have a good life. It's like, really? That's not how I wish the world worked that way. Maybe you live in a parallel universe. I don't. But there is no universe like that. By the way, for those of you listening, if you align with company values and you want to potentially come work for me, you're ready to be in it, learn the most challenging environment, but the environment you can learn the most, potentially become even a partner level and make a lot. Apply to come on the Friday hiring call and I'll talk to you there. Click the link. It should be somewhere on here. Or go to tylopez.com slash jobs.